What if I told you, we owe our understanding of space, storms and suction to an empty glass tube? Torricelli didn't just invent the barometer, he created the first man-made vacuum. For 2000 years people believed what Aristotle said, nature abhors a vacuum. That emptiness can't exist, something must always rush in to fill it. But one scientist dared to challenge that idea. In 1643, Evangelista Torricelli filled a glass tube with mercury, sealed it, flipped it upside down and placed it in a mercury basin. The mercury dropped and stopped at about 76 centimeters. Above it, a dark space, not air, not vapor, just nothing. Torricelli realized the mercury didn't stay up because of suction, it stayed up because Earth's atmosphere was pushing it upward. That invisible weight of air, what we now call atmospheric pressure, was measurable. Why use mercury? It's 13.6 times denser than water, if he had used water the tube would need to be over 10 meters tall, mercury made it short, stable and sensitive to pressure changes. Suction is a myth, what we call suction, is actually just higher pressure pushing into lower pressure. At sea level, air pushes down with a pressure of 101,325 pascals, enough to hold up that mercury column. The space above the mercury wasn't a perfect vacuum but it was close. For the first time humans created a space almost completely empty of matter, and that shattered ancient beliefs. Today, we use vacuums in electron microscopes, space chambers and chip-making factories, and we still measure pressure in millimeters of mercury, just like Torricelli did. No vacuum, no universe, no pressure, no storms. One experiment opened up everything.